everybody, it's time to fight the seventh gym. Welcome back to Pokemon Sapphire, be no one friend lock, baby. We are gonna buy a couple items before we go to the gym because, uh, we, dude, we don't have a lot of money at all. Uh, that should be just about enough of those. Uh, yeah, I'll buy a dive ball. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'll buy a net ball. I love the net ball. And, uh, we will buy two of this. And we're ready to go. We hardly bought anything for the gym, but you know what? I didn't think they were gonna sell dive balls and net balls here. But those are some of my favorites. I like them a lot. So, welcome back to Pokemon Sapphire, everybody. Part 19. Um, before we go into the gym, actually, we do have a couple things to take a look at really quick. Um, so let's see. So yes, PC. First of all, I grinded up a little bit to prepare for the gym. Uh, so let's talk, because some people got some new moves and stuff. I grinded everybody who wasn't gonna evolve up to level 38, because, uh, Liza and Tate's aces are level 42. So it's like, even though 38 is lower, uh, that's probably okay. That's still, that's still, like, pretty, uh... Like, that's fine. That's definitely lower than their levels, but, uh, I don't want to level up any more than that. That would be kind of busted. So, we got Sand. Cool Sand the Absol with massive attack, dude. That special attack is okay, so Bite doesn't do that much, but, like, we did get Slash while we were leveling up, and Slash is a good move. Swords Dance into Slash can do a lot of freaking damage, especially with that, uh, 107 attack stat. It's kind of gnarly. Uh, Babe. Stats looking pretty alright. That special defense is really good, especially in this gym coming up. Uh, we're probably, honestly, Babe might be a really good switch in, uh, at some points, because the Soul Rock does have Flamethrower. And if we're, in case we're in a little bit of a jam, this resists pretty much everything those guys are trying to do. Um, and we learned, we learned Psychic, actually. Uh, we replaced Psy, Psy Wave or something, because that move kind of sucked. We learned Psychic, which is awesome, because what's that, base 90? Yeah, that move's really good. Uh, Nolan, we didn't get him to level 38 because he's gonna evolve pretty soon. Uh, so I w of course you gotta have the evolution on camera. That's our boy. So we got Nolan, no moves changed. We got Toadsworth. Uh, we actually replaced Leech Seed with Sky Uppercut, which is a super controversial move. But I'm thinking Nolan just does enough damage usually anyways that setting up seeds like kinda doesn't matter with him. Like if he shouldn't be in. If he's not going to be killing, then he just shouldn't be in, in general. He can, like, brute force a couple of things because he's got that good, good defense. Dude, 109 attack. What was Sans? 107? Breloom. God damn, bro. You're nuts. Applesauce. 107 special defense, but Applesauce doesn't really get to come hang out at this gym because they deal a lot of freaking damage to a poison type. Um, we learned nothing. Nothing has changed yet. Uh, for some reason I was thinking we were gonna learn something new, but maybe I'm just kind of nuts. Uh, and Acid's a smart move, apparently. Cool. Uh, and Spoopy evolves next level, so I didn't, uh, what's it called him? I didn't level him up yet, but he's pretty, he's very close, and he does have the EXP share on. So he'll probably level up pretty soon. He learned Curse over whatever else, but he's gonna get Shadow Punch. Uh, pretty soon. I believe he got Curse. I didn't- I don't know if he had that before that. But he is about to learn Shadow Punch when he levels up. So, and also look at those defenses. 70, 62, 74, 74. That shit's kind of nice. And that attack set's not terrible. So, he will, uh, he'll be evolving soon and he'll actually, like, do something in the Psychic Gym. I'm probably just gonna switch, um, Sand for him once he evolves anyway so he can get some levels. Just get some stuff moving up in that gym, because there's a bunch of trainers. Now, this is what we needed to talk about. Um, I don't want to bring Breloom, because Breloom is a horrible switch in. I think no one can, will put the EXP share on him and evolve him while we're battling trainers. Uh, but Breloom has no reason to come. So we're gonna leave Breloom out. What should we do? What, who, who do you think's gonna be the least useful to us? I mean, do we just start slaying things that we have multiples of? Does that make sense? Or should Andy the Wismer finally die? Um... This guy's weak to that. I was gonna say, maybe it'd be wise to bring something that could possibly take a hit. But these guys are pretty strong. 
and I kind of like everybody else. Buppy is a unique type, and if we lose sand, we might want a dark type? Hmm. Let's bring, um... We wanna... <laughs> Do you guys wanna bring City Hall? Grass types aren't very good. Let's bring City Hall, why not? <laughs> right? <laughs> Fuck it. That'll be fun. And I don't, like, I, th I honestly think that we have an okay plan for this gym, so it's probably not gonna be that bad. However, uh, just in case we need some sort of switch, that will be a, uh, that'll be a good plan to have. So, uh, our, our switch-ins are honestly pretty terrible with Applesauce and Nolan. They take super effective damage, so, you know what? Maybe we, maybe we bring Buppy, question mark? Because he can take that shit a little better than an Oddish. No, you know what? No, 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 no. I think, I think our team's fine. Even though the, the half that aren't allowed to battle uh, are all weak to Psychic. They, they should be okay. We shouldn't have a, shouldn't have too much of a problem, I hope. Uh, I don't remember what this gym is like because it is very different in Emerald. I have no idea what's going on. What is this? Oh, okay, I see. What's up? Battles hinge on the strength of your spirit. The weak spirited will never win! Uh, listen. I've been told that I've got a pretty weak spirit. By who? I'm not telling. But, uh, I think I'm gonna beat you anyway. Probably a one shot. Let's turn battle animations on. How about that? <laughs> Imprison. Oh, I can't use. I don't even know what that does, honestly. <laughs> what does that do? Anyone know what Imprison does? Oh, that's something I wanted to ask you guys. That's what I was thinking of. I was thinking of this earlier. And uh, Spoopy's ready to evolve. What is my catchphrase? Do I have a? Do I have something that I say like a lot? Because if I do, let me know. I, cause I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe like, dude. I, I, dude. I really have no idea. I did just say dude there, but <laughs> I don't know. Do I have a catchphrase? And if so, should I get one? because catchphrases are kind of cool. But, uh, by the way, Dusclops. That's kind of sick. Yes, Spoopy, you can absolutely learn Shadow Punch. Ooh, I didn't know that it can't miss. That's pretty cool. Dude, are you telling- Why does Astonish have less PP than Shadow Punch? This move is horrible. What the fuck? I really feel like Curse is actually not a terrible move. Because it four shots any opponent, and we can just set it up and then use a hyper potion, typically, and that would just be fine. Oop. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm clicking all the wrong buttons here. Do you have pressure? That's interesting. That's cool. Whoo! Damn, those are some fat defenses, dude. 79, 106, 106. I'm pretty sure that's just almost. Yeah. Wow. We have really good special defense on our team. And okay physical defense, too. Huh. Look at that. I didn't, uh... I knew his, I knew his defenses were good. I didn't realize they were that good. That's kind of awesome. And Spoopy, why don't you hold the lax incense so people miss you occasionally? Why not, right? There we go. And we'll let, uh, we'll let Spoopy get some fights in. He's gonna take a few more hits than Absol because he's not nearly as fast. Which is kind of troubling. But, um... I think he'll be all right with those defenses. I don't think Spoopy really gives a shit. Possibly. Oh, you know what? Remind me to throw a fucking citrus berry on that guy before we get to the before we get to the gym later. How about that? I probably will forget. That sounds like something I'm very capable of doing. So, psychic. Oh, I didn't turn on the uh, things. Thanks. Told you I wouldn't. <laughs> I didn't tell you that, but everyone knows that I won't. I promise. I promise. Oh my god, no one is ready. No one's ready to evolve. That's fucking hype. Curlia. Curlia shouldn't kill us. It is going first. It missed! Because we got the incense on! And that's your one shot. Yup. Alright. Spoopy- I mean, Cadaver's really good, but Spoopy did take a kind of a lot of damage from that one psychic. So, uh, that might be a little tough. But, you know what? No one's evolving, so who cares? No one- 
Evo. Write that down in our notes. I remember to get my notepad. Dude, our team? Fucking stacked now. Now that we got both these evolutions, fucking nasty. I'm hype. I'm super excited about having this. I can't even tell you the last time we got to play with a Blaziken. I'm just very happy that no one actually was able to get here. Because it's been a long road. 85-90. Kick with a high critical hit ratio that might cause a burn? That's kind of fucking sick. 85, that's more than double Ember. Yeah, get that shit out of here. That's awesome. And guess what? Guess what I just remembered right now? Dude, Blaziken looks sick. Holy shit. I remembered to turn that on. Let's go. <laughs> Everybody say, good job, crit, Nick. Thank you, thank you. Let's, uh, let's get you a little bit of health, Spoopy. How about that? Um, so we do have a plan for the gym leader when we get there. I think we're just gonna go full on assault, uh, the Soul Rock first. Because the Soul Rock is the only one that has, um, moves that can hit, uh, what's his name? Absol. Yes, that's correct. Soul Rock's the only one that can actually hit Absol. This actually does kind of a lot. Relax. Kill. Fine. Are you gonna... Are you gonna kill us? I'm gonna... You know what? We're gonna keep the Google machine open here because we can't risk losing Dusclops before the gym leader. Because... <laughs> but losing Spoopy before the gym leader would be really fucking shitty, to be honest with you. Is that my catchphrase? To be honest with you? I feel like I say that a lot. That, that might, hey, that might be it. Or, uh, God fucking damn it, I'm a fucking idiot, stupid dumbass. Piece of shit. Go, go stick your head in a dick. Yes, I'm in a Game Grumps phase again. What, what, what's your problem? I'm always in a Game Grumps phase. I love those guys. Uh, special attack 95 from Zatu. So... Who, who just hit us? Kadabra? So let's see how high Kadabra's special attack is. Kadabra's special attack is 120. So we definitely live a psychic from this dude. Yeah. Oh, but he fucking throws anyway. All right, listen. This is good information. Definitely good thing to know. That, that helps us a lot. And we crit anyway. Why did it always feels like we get crits at the time where they really just like it does not matter whether we got a crit or not. Does this guy have another Pokemon? No, she does not. I surrender, dude. This fight honestly is fucking hard in uh, Emerald. This fight is really really hard because they have four Pokemon instead of the two, and the two are already way over leveled. Like, the, the level cap is crazy. They, they go fucking nuts. This gym is confusing as hell, by the way. I'm, I'm extremely confused. What's up? Let me see your talent. Yeah, okay. Is that code word for, like, pee-pee? Because that's weird. All right, good information. Lunatone's base special attack is 95. That's good. That's good to know. Let's see what Soul Rocks is. Number 338, Soul Rock. I, I may as well do this studying while we're together. Uh, special attack, 55. Soul Rock kind of fucking sucks. Maybe we'll go for the Lunatone first. I don't think it matters if the, the uh, Soul Rock's hitting us that much, to be honest. Technically, we die to a crit here. So, yeah, thanks for, thanks for not doing that. I appreciate it. It's a little bit annoying, we have to burn a potion after every, uh, every single hit, but, uh, dude, Kadabra's busted. It had, by the way, I'm pretty sure when I just looked it up, Kadabra itself has 120, um, special attack, which is fucking crazy. That's, that's too much. That's too much for an unevolved Pokemon, not fully evolved. 120 is crazy. What is fucking Alakazam's then? I don't even know what Alakazam's special attack is. It must be, like, insane. It must be, uh, as they, as they say, uh, in the movies, or, I don't know, song. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. This trainer was totally optional, and we just fucking pulled up to her anyway. Him? Fritz? Psychic Fritz? 
Is that a uh, particularly masculine or feminine name? Not sure. All right, goes for the wish. We're gonna probably one-shot this motherfucker. Let's go. Ghost is physical in this game, just to let you know. No one actually hit me with a really good tip about that. Oh, we could take the fucking EXP share off of that guy. Oh, we can, uh... Actually, we can hit this guy. We can hit him with pursuits, right. That makes sense. Oh, you got confusion? That ain't gonna do nothing. How much does pursuit do, though? Not a lot. <laughs> Oh, and he had Wish. Uh, you know what? How about this? We're gonna get a good switch into uh, into Cool Sand. He's gonna go for the confusion because he's a moron. All right, listen. He read us. He read he, this guy, dude. This guy's fucking all over us right now. That's crazy that the um, the gym trainers have like level 35s and 36s. So you're like, oh, gym leaders Pokemon are gonna be probably like 38, 39. That's cool. You pull up and they're 42. It's like, what the fuck? And Spoopy's on par. 108, 109. Very nice. No one. Stop holding the XP share. You don't need it. What does a cadaver even do to Cool Sand, right? I was gonna say not much, but uh, oh wow, really not much. Jesus, we flinched him. He doesn't do shit. Did we outspeed that Kadabra? Damn, I thought Kadabra were kind of fast though. My Pokemon battling skills are out of sync, too! Yeah, that's right, Fritz. You're on the Fritz, bro. Um, let's... Let's do this to save ourselves some trouble. And you know what? I believe Babe is holding the amulet coin. Ah, but yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. We can't take the, uh... We can't take the glasses off of Cool Sand. That makes a lot of sense. Thanks for pointing that out. I appreciate that. If we took the glasses off of Cool Sand, what kind of trainer would we be? Those are his favorite accessory. We fought this lady, right? Yes, we did. Uh, this puzzle's confusing. We could go that way, but I'm pretty sure that just ejects us from the puzzle. Yeah. We didn't go this way last time, did we? We did. <laughs> we did. Oh, never mind. I thought that was it. Oh, okay, so we have to retrace our steps, guys. Guys, don't worry, guys. I am- I'm smart. I promise. See? Oh my god, and look at this. All together, baby. All together. And we're here. Are you someone we can fight? I'd like to fight you. I'm gonna, like, try to mash A or something. See if we can get a fight in. Oh, we're just stuck? We're not allowed? Huh. One more time. Alright, 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 you know what, you know what, we don't need the experience, we're good. Who cares? So, okay. We're here. That's kind of exciting. Nervous? Eh! I think, uh, I think we're gonna be better off than we think. I think we've kind of got it in, not, not in the bag, but I think it's gonna be easier than you think. Amulet coin. Taken and replaced with citrus berry. Very good. Um, we'll give citrus berries to other people as well. Grumpig. And you know what? Just in case you have to get in here, sure. And you know what? Just in case you have to get in here, sure. And you know what? Just in case you gotta get in here, you can hold the most useless berry in the entire game. Unless we want to make Pokeballs, which we don't. Oh, we gotta start on the left. You're right. My bad. Everybody? It's Pokemon. Hee hee hee, were you surprised? <laughs> were you surprised? <laughs> that there are two gym leaders? That there are two gym leaders? We're twins, we're twins. We don't need to talk because we can determine each other what the other is thinking all in our minds. This combination of ours, can you beat it? You know what, I, I, I'm hoping ladies, because this is a, uh, this is a, this is a battle. This might be easier than we think. But, uh, you know what? We're, we're still gonna prepare like, uh, we could lose. So, I think new plan because Solrock's special attack is really fucking horrible. I don't think we give a shit what it does. I think we just aim straight for the Lunatone because it's way stronger. Try to kill it. And then we target the Solrock. I think that's the plan. This might end pretty quick. Jesus. Yeah, you know what? 
That shit's alright. That wasn't bad. Alright, even if he takes a bunch of damage from that, yeah. Lunatone can't hit uh, Cool Sand, which is good. Spoopy, use your Shadow Punch. Kills. Hell fucking yeah, brother. Get fucked. Oh, and we eat the berry! Yo! So that means we don't even have to freaking take... Uh, use a potion or anything. This battle might be over pretty quick, folks. I'm gonna be surprised if we if we uh, lose a Pokemon on this one. Super effective. And uh, I believe that Spoopy's move is stronger. Don't crit. Okay. Will this kill? Is that it? That's not it. She's gonna go for the heal, right? What if she doesn't? We, we outsped her anyway. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, we outsped anyway, so we should get a free hit in here. But, alright, let's pay attention to how much this bite does. We should be able to get her next turn. I did, see? That roll, dude, because I'm pretty sure bite did over half last time. Okay. Now, we move first, so the bite wins. Oh, she got, this bitch got potions out the ass. Okay, I hear you. I get it. We're just, we're just gonna keep spamming our super effective moves, and uh, we'll be all right. I'm not, I'm not gonna call it until it's done. Yo, and you just crit. You just crit, man. You just crit. I appreciate that. <laughs> Dude, Spoopy Kate went from like, ah, uh, like I guess we'll encounter a Dust Skull, to like, yeah, dude, I'm fucking good, and you're gonna know it, and I do know it. Thank you, Spoopy. We received the Mind Badge from Liza and Tate. Let's fucking go, guys. The Mind Badge enhances the special attack and special defense of Pokemon. It also lets you use the HM move Dive outside of battle. You should take this! I think this is Calm Mind, which we didn't get to see them use, right? Yeah, that TM04 contains Calm Mind. It raises special attack and it raises special defense. It's a move that's perfect for psychic Pokemon. I think I switched their voices there. Whoa, my bad. <laughs> See you later, ladies. Thanks for the badge. That was not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I think the the emerald fight scarred me because that emerald um, what's it called is horrible. The emerald fight with them is so so hard. I think I lost like one or two Pokemon during it. I don't know, but I did I did a shit ton of grinding in that game. I've been doing a shit ton of grinding for this game, too. I just grinded probably for like two or three hours before I started recording. But at least it was like... In the middle, um, what's it called? In the middle of... Like, my session. Like, bef Pfft. Not in the middle of my session, that's what I'm trying to say. Dude, we didn't even have to sack City Hall. Let's go. And we withdraw you. Welcome back, Breloom. I appreciate that. Um... Who... Who... Okay, so, okay, we don't need the fly right now. We, we're not flying anywhere. We're actually gonna go get our Route 124 encounter. Um, and you guessed it. We couldn't get it because we didn't have dive. But now we do. So we can go grab that. By the way, yep, 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 yep. We gotta teach dive to somebody to actually use it. That's correct. Good call. That's the, that's the move that I was saying Tentacool's gonna learn. Right. I was thinking that earlier. Dude, I've been like so hyper fixated on Sapphire that like when I'm at work, I think about strategy and like look things up that I'm curious about. That's how I found out that Breloom and Absol have the same base, uh, what's it called? Base, what's the word I'm looking for? Base, attack, there you go. I don't know, d d no, literally no idea why I couldn't pull that one off, but that's fine. You hold that. Everybody, give me your citrus berries back. Take. Take. And, uh, Blaziken, you get to hold the lax incense as it has been foretold. You get to hold the mystic water. I don't think I have anything for anybody else. I think. Let's see. No, these are all, like, use items. Yeah, not a lot. Not a lot of stuff. 
Uh, do you want to hold, I don't know, you can hold a citrus berry, you know what? Because having a citrus berry on a bulky babe like that, probably good. Not to be confused with a regular babe, of course. And Cool Sand holds the black glasses, as usual. As it has been foretold. Yo, you literally just, you get on that boat and you are on Route 124. Im immediately. Where are our repels? We're not gonna use a max repel because we're gonna find all the stuff really soon. Hey, I found it. Diving's super cool. I don't like that it's an HM because HMs suck. Ooh, heart scale, okay. I didn't know that that's what that did. That's cool. I didn't think that was an item. I thought it was just like, hey, you can surface here. What's up? Is this the guy we didn't fight? <laughs> I guess not. My bad. Hey, are you lost at sea? If you can beat my Pokemon, I can serve as your pilot. Uh, okay, sir. What's your name? What's your name, bro? Swimmer Spencer? Well, Spencer, man. I mean, I, I appreciate that. But, uh, no offense, but I'm gonna headbutt all of your jellyfish until they die. Hoping you don't have three. I'd really love to, uh, use a grass move. But, uh, Toadsworth's pretty much a, uh, pure fighting type. At this point. Because Mega Drain is so weak. And he doesn't learn Giga Drain by level up. He learns it by TM. You know what? The finding that TM might not be a horrible idea. But, uh, I don't, I don't know where it is. It might be in the game corner. And if it's in the game corner... That we have a whole lot of other grinding to do. Also, Giga Drain only has 5 PP, which is a stupid, stupid thing. Hey, grass! So yeah, I thought that, um... I thought that underwater meant that, like, the underwater counts as one location. And you can get encounters there, and that's it. You can get one encounter underwater. But apparently all the routes are... Separate. Like, if I catch a Pokemon here, this will count as Route 124. It will not count as underwater, which uh, is definitely a misconception I had. Is there good stuff underwater? Yeah. Uh, Relicanth is good. Well, I actually don't know if it's good, but Relicanth is really cool. Um, what else is underwater? Chinchow. Chinchow is super good, apparently. I, I've never used a Lantern in a Nuzlocke yet, but uh, I hear that it's a very good Pokemon. Oh, a Clam. Hi, Clammy. Clam Pearl would be a terrible, terrible encounter to get because I don't think that you can evolve it in uh, without trades. So we just, <laughs> we just have this stupid little Clam. Clamp, ow. Oh, that's a water move? You clamped me? Does that mean I can't like switch out or something? Cause that's kind of rude, but you know what? I'm gonna punch you in the mouth. I'm gonna see what else there is in the dive space. Yo, we could get a Sharpedo on this route. Not underwater, but... Okay, so Clam Pearls have a 65% chance, Chinchows have a 30, and Relicants have a 5. Got it. So this, uh, especially at the speed we move and the speed we get encounters, this could take a little bit, ladies and gents. We'll, we'll sit through two more encounters and then I'll probably fast forward. Because, uh, that, that feels like it could take a long time. Ooh, he's a Chin Chow! Hello! You're so cute! Grass, and I don't think grass is super effective on a water electric type, so we're not gonna... We're not even gonna try this guy. Alright, Relicanth. Yo, okay! That was, uh, that was super fast, honestly. I did not expect to get the Relicanth that quickly. I don't know what Relicant's defenses and stuff are like. So, of course, I don't, I don't want to hit it just yet. So we're going to huck a ball. We're going to, of course, you got to Colby it with the net ball. One, a two, a three. Yo. That was fucking hype. I didn't expect that at all, actually. I thought Relicant was, like, kind of a hard one to get. That was really lucky. Good job. It was lucky to find that fest and lucky to catch. Very nice. I am, uh, what does this guy say? Relicant's a rare species that was discovered in deep sea explorations. This Pokemon's body withstands the enormous water pressure of the ocean depths. Its body's covered in tough scales that are like craggy rocks. That's kind of fucking cool. Let's name it. What, what is it? Um, where are we? 124? 
Ne neither, they, they, both the boys, I don't remember who we picked, I think it was the Big Bean, but I'm not 100% sure. Both of them chose Relicanth, but neither of them left nicknames for it. Uh, do you want to test me and see if I could spell Coelacanth? I think I can. Coelacanth. Let's check right now. This is, this is our little spelling game. Oops. Hello? I'm so bad. My, my hands are too fat. Coelacanth. We did! We spelled it right! Ba -ba 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 That's a point! That's a point for Crit Nick Keller. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, my uh, my Twitter name right now is Crit Saint Nick. What a great name, right? What a pure name. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> is this like a secret zone? Like, auto zone? That's kind of cool. Maybe there's, there might be, guys, there might be some special items around here. So I feel like this is a, what the fuck? Oh, uh, okay. Where, dude, where are we on the map right now, dude? What? Oh, we, en we've entered the sphere. Okay, I see. Very cool. Oh, wow, there are a lot of routes here. Let's, uh, okay, we're on route 126, and it looks like we might be able to dive. So let's see, odds is nolan. That's an even. Dude, 29 flat. Evens is Big Bean. And the Big Bean has voted for another fucking Relicanth. Alright. <laughs> we, we got pretty lucky there getting that one so fast. So I don't expect to get this one too, too quickly. That would be kind of a modern miracle. But uh, we'll, 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 do the, we'll do the rule of thumb here with this slow stuff. We'll sit through three encounters. And uh, if we don't get it, we'll fast forward. How was your day? I don't know what time it is when you're watching this. My day is technically only half over, even though it's 3 a.m. Because I stay up till like 9. Uh, but how, how's your day going? I don't know what time it is. Did you do anything fun today? And if not, will you be doing something fun tomorrow? And if not, when's the last time you did something fun and what is it? I know the pandemic isn't very fun. Uh, but... There, there's still fun to be had occasionally, and I would love to know what you guys have been doing to keep yourselves busy. I mean, besides going to work, because, uh, you know, maybe like week two of the pandemic was like, alright, maybe you're not working right now. But week, uh, I don't know, like, 38 of the pandemic or something? I'm just making a guess here. You, you probably back to work, which is fucking dog shit. Uh, so what do you like do? What do you do for fun now? Because you can't go out anywhere. Or you can, but you gotta wear a mask. What do you do? What do I do when to have fun? Because how much has my life changed because I had to stay inside all, right, all day? Or I can't do like things like, like going out and stuff? My life hasn't changed all that much. I am... I've always been a homebody. Very, very tried and true homebody. I like being inside. Um, uh, <laughs> as I like to call it, I'm an inside kid. But, um, yeah, I mean, I used to go to Friday Night Magic every Friday, obviously. Um, and that was, that was a ton of fun, and I miss that a lot. I miss the people I got to see doing that. I wouldn't go as often because I'm working now anyways, but that's just a thing that, like, I used to really like to do. And then I, now I don't really get to do it anymore. Um, hopefully when things open back up, I'll get to do some more stuff like that. Because I, I miss playing Magic like that a lot. Me and my housemates play. Um, if you play Magic, by the way, you're fucking sick. And if you don't, uh, learn. Uh, for your wallet, actually, probably don't learn. <laughs> because that is an expensive game. Um, like, if you get in at super base level, like, you just have your little deck on you, and every once in a while you'll buy some new packs and put some new cards in. That's totally okay. But, like, if you get as fucking, like, enfranchised as I am... You're, dude, like, I couldn't even tell you how much money I've spent on Magic over my life. Like, this year, not that much. I've probably laid, la well, not that much for Magic standards. I've probably laid out, like, $500, $600 on Magic. Which sounds like a lot, I know. But, um, for the typical year, eh, phew, man, is not, not at all. Uh-uh. No good. I, I've probably spent like thousands in a year maybe not thousands but probably like a 1500 max which sounds crazy but like it was really my only hobby for a super long time so it's like okay well you don't really go out to eat 
You don't drink coffee. You don't do anything else that is, like, good. You buy your girlfriend lunch, like, every once in a while. Okay. So, like, alright. There, there, there's, there's all your other spending money into this one hobby. That's, like, fine. Uh, but I don't do that nearly as much anymore. Which is good, because it saves me a lot of money. I don't do anything anymore, so I've been saving a ton of money. Uh, which is fucking cool, because I have rent and student loans to pay, so I need to have money. <laughs> rent sucks, but it gives me a house to live in, where uh, my parents can't yell at me for having good political views. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um... <laughs> Fucking nice. Anyways, one more encounter and then we're gonna do a little skippy skip because goodness gracious. All right, all right, we're 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 skipping because damn. There he is! Yeah! Fucking finally! <laughs> Netball! That that didn't that that was probably like four minutes, but still, just like. That felt like a long time. I pulled out my headphones. I was ready to like listen to some music or something while I was waiting. But uh, l lucky. Good find. Uh, I think Spoopy can get a hit in probably, right? Dude, what? You're, you're, you're thinking to yourself, what's the, uh, what's the use of having two relicants? Uh, who gives a shit? Two relicants. Fuck it. Right? Uh, alright. We'll... We'll hit him with a pursuit. This guy's dealing just a tiny- the, the rock tomb dealt a little bit more damage than I would've liked. But, uh, does Relicanth have, like, good stats? Or something? Like, what- I don't- I actually don't know, like, jack shit about this Pokemon. I've never heard of this guy in my life. No, you- <laughs> You know what? Those stats actually aren't terrible. Sure, he takes four times damage against grass, but like, that shit's all right. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Yes! I hope I don't kill it. All right, wow, that did literally fucking nothing. Jesus, man! Kill this guy! <laughs> or, you know, do, deal a little damage to him. Rock Tomb. Yeah, we'll probably have to switch after this one, right? 63 to 43, 20. Uh, on a high roll, he probably kills us with a crit. Crit high roll. We've, uh, we've been killed by a crit high roll before. I'm, uh, not looking to be killed by one again. So yeah, by the way, base stats. HP 100, which is actually pretty dang good. Which gives him a, uh, a max, if you, I, if you EV trained him, a, uh, max of... Let's throw a dive ball, why not? A max of 404, which is fat, at level 100, of course. Uh, attack 90, which is actually pretty good. That's really not bad. Uh, it's not great for someone who wants to use water moves, especially since his special attack is 45. But, uh, he does have, a uh, rock. Rock type, uh, attacks. We saw the rock tomb. 4125. Rally 2. Um, yeah, defense, defense 130. That's the real cool part. Special defense 65, whatever, and 55 speed, sure. But that defense and HP makes for a really good physical wall. Uh, your physical wall. What do we name you? Oh my goodness, got it. Uh, beautiful, 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 beautiful Relicanth. The goddess of love, Aphrodite. The Relicanth. She's so, she's so beautiful. <laughs> let's see, uh, let's see where the hell we wind up because I, I, dude, I don't know my way around these like, the uh, whatever this is, the underwater and stuff, and these routes at all. I always get super fucking lost in these things, and I also don't know how to activate dive yet. I'm smashing like four buttons, hoping it works. All right. Oh, I was gonna say we should use a repel, but you know what? Ooh, we cleared it. Never mind. I was in the middle of my sentence, and then I had to stop because I was wrong. Uh, no one suggested clam pearl for that route, by the way. Oh shit. You know what? Big Bean might have suggested a name for the Rokin. No, he did not. No, uh, no name suggestion. I actually didn't check, but I didn't think he had one. So that's fine. Uh, let's uh, let's pray that repel, and then find out where the hell we are. Get our. Uh, 
what what what's the expression? Get our uh Our footing is not exactly what I'm looking for here. Hmm. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. Who cares? Yeah, okay, so we had like minor access to Route 126 there, but that was just like wasn't like it's not connected to the rest. The dude, Hoenn, I love Hoenn to death. I think Hoenn is really cool, but this part of Hoenn is so strange. Was there a reason we were heading this way? Yeah, we, okay, we went over this way because of all this water. We can't go down here, right? Were we... Okay, okay, oh, okay, so we can go down here. And there's a lot of dive space. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, you know what? I think, uh, I think there's a lot to see, and, uh, we're kind of running out of... I was locked into position there, by the way. Even before his exclamation point came up. We were locked the fuck in. Alright, well, we're gonna fight this guy and then we'll dip. How about that? Okay. Gary Dos. That's cool. I didn't wanna, uh, kick this guy's butt anyway. Gary Dos doesn't get any flying moves, right? <laughs> I guess he technically could get, it, get, like, Aerial Ace, maybe? Like, every Pokemon gets that. But you know what? We could just flinch the shit out of him and who cares? Alright. He cut our defense. Do we trust Toadsworth to take a, uh, Thrash? Do we? 60, 67, 69, 60, 108, 76. 108, Jesus. You're, you're at half health, so you're not coming in. How about, uh, how about you, Applesauce? You resist any water moves. That's fine. Let's see a Thrash. Twister? I hardly know her! What does that even do? Oh my god, nothing. Holy shit, that move's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's really bad. <laughs> Damn. This move's not that bad, though. That's just a free 40. That's, uh, that... Dragon Rage is, like, the bane of every person who does, like, randomizer nuzlocks. It's, like, terrible. Because you, you encounter, like, a level 5 whatever. Like, something random, and it just Dragon Rages all your Pokemon, and you can't fucking win. I, I've seen that shit happen too many times. I, I'm not adverse to doing a randomizer, by the way. I think a randomizer would be a lot of fun. My computer is just, uh, really fucking shitty. So. Alright, well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. This is a super eventful fucking episode. Uh, and on the next one, we'll explore this route a little bit more. We'll get into Sutopolis City. And, uh, we'll see what that place has to offer us. Because, uh, pretty sure we're coming up on Kyogre stuff soon. I think that is before the 8th gym. Whatever the case, stay tuned, everybody, because next episode's gonna be exciting, I think. A, a lot's gonna happen, I think. <laughs> so we'll see you next time. Bye.